All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to get, you know, let you guys know about what type of lures that I'm gonna be using this um, this coming up fall. Um, a lot of it is gonna be like jerk bait, jigs, um, maybe some crankbait. I might throw some crankbait in there. I'm not 100% sure about what I'm gonna do just yet, but uh, I just wanted to drop this quick video uh, to let you guys know, you know, about what's gonna be happening. So. Let's go ahead and, uh, and get into it. Because I bank fish mostly, I don't um, I don't own a boat yet. Um, probably won't for a little while. Let's see. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, I appreciate y'all, you know, uh, watching the video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, you know, down there somewhere or here. I don't know where it's gonna be at. Um, but hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, you know. So the first thing I got is my crankbaits. Um, as you can see, most of these are like a chartreuse color. Uh, now, don't quote me on this because I'm not a color guy. Um, I could tell you, yeah, that's a jig. Yeah, that's a finesse jig. Yeah, that's a you know a, ch a chatterbait. Um, you know, crankbait, lipless, square. You know, whatever. Um, that I know of. Uh, the colors, I'm not a big fan of. Never have been. Um, it just depends on you know what area that I'm fishing. Um, so by far, like, because I hunt, or excuse me, I hunt, well, I do hunt, um, but I do fish um, Tennessee a lot. So a lot of these are shad, um, and it's just a variation of different ones that don't wanna come undone. All right, um, yeah, so uh, here goes a shad, um, shad little crane bait. Uh, this actually works really good. Um, I use it around like 12, it'd be like 12 to 15 feet of water um, is around where I use this. Uh, so this will actually uh, be good. Um, here, I've got a lipless um, little rattle to it. Um, I have not used this one. Um, I tried using it, but I think I just put it on and then switched it for another one. Yeah, um, so uh, here goes another one. Um, as you can see, these colors are bright uh, because a lot of the the, the lakes and ponds and, and little little areas that I fish are milky. So I want something that's going to stand out. Um, you know, even though this may not be for you, it, it works for me. Um, so I've got another one here. Uh, this one actually has a really cool story behind it. Um, you see how it's like all beat up? Um, basically this one right here is by far my favorite um i was actually out fishing with a buddy of mine and this was actually like in the gravel like it was just laying there in the gravel i actually stepped on it and i was like oh what's this so i looked back behind me um and needless to say it was in it was in good working condition i had to switch out the um the treble hooks because they were kind of rusted out but even though it looks beat up this thing will still get bass like bat, just, bass just love this thing um i've caught a lot of bass on this actually um i've caught uh i think it was my pb actually on this one my uh, my personal best uh was on this um but yeah I, I don't know um but here's one and then of course i have another one um this is kind of i don't i don't even know what this is like i don't know what to call this a chartreuse but it is the bomber um i'm not 110 percent on who makes that but it could just be bomber um i've caught a few fish on this um i'm not like i said the color i don't know um but this one here uh normally goes to about uh i want to say 15 to 20 feet um deep um i've caught a few off this uh it's it's really good now i do have um some jerk baits in uh, in this one i guess it's because i just couldn't fit it anywhere else um, but yeah, so I've got this jerk bait, I guess we're moving on jerk baits. Uh, I do have this jerk bait. Um, I have used this before. Uh, I don't think I've caught anything off this color just yet. This is a shad color. Um, so yeah, let's keep going on. Okay. So in this box, um, it's just a plethora of stuff. Really? This is like for my Texas rigs, uh, my Texas rig setups. Um, I do have some, uh, I do have uh, a jig in here um this I, I again i don't know colors um or you know specifics on what they call them um 
if I had to say anything, I would say that this is probably uh, what's it called like a like a pumpkin, I guess, type color. I mean, I don't know. You can look in there. I don't know. Leave a description below of, of what you what this is um, or what color this is. Um, but I have used this one. I've caught some uh, pretty nice sized bass off this one. Um, I do have another one. Actually, it's in the truck. I just bought it. It's a uh, Booyah. Um, I want to say it's a. Five sixteen sounds. I'm I'm not hundred percent on that, um, but I'll have to look. All right, and then also, um, I have this uh, this other jig here. Um, I kind of just put this on there just to see what would happen. I didn't catch anything off of this. This is just you know, um, this was just an experiment type deal. Again, don't know the color, um, but that will you know I'll be using that actually um, on this specific one. Um, I didn't even have a trailer on here. Um, actually, I was at a boat dock. I fished this, and my first cast, boom, I landed. I think it was like a two-pounder. Um, I don't know exactly when I did that. So, uh, but yeah, it, it was it was pretty awesome. All right, um, I've got another um, little uh, top water right here. It kind of looks like a jerk bait, but it's actually um, a top water lure. Um, Little shad, uh, I've, I've used this a couple of times. Uh, I'm not 100% if I caught anything off of this uh, recently. Um, then I've got a little swim bait. Um, I've actually used this a couple of times, haven't caught anything off of this. Again, you know, like you're noticing a lot of this stuff is shad. It's just because that's what I fish, um, fish with. Uh, I, I do have other, um, other lures, believe me. Um, all right, and then I've got some buzz baits. Um, I've got this one here. Uh, this one actually was on sale. It was like a dollar. Um, this was when I was first getting into uh, buzz, you know, buzz bait fishing. Um, just trying to, you know, get a feel for it. Uh, this was about, I don't know, a couple years ago uh, when I bought this one. I've got a white one, and yeah, I think that's all because it, I I couldn't really get into it, but I am. I'm gonna, you know, of course, buy some more. Um, this is actually um, a chatterbait. Um, it's a black and white chat chatterbait. Um, I I haven't really used it, but I did catch a few, as you can see. Um, yeah, it got it got bit. <laughs> uh, it, it's actually not uh, a bad chatterbait. Um, normally, I use this when it's like clear, uh, clear water. Uh, dirty water not milky water because milky water black seems to like disappear um so uh, it's it's just kind of hard to to kind of judge when you want to use this um me personally i like i said I, i've used it during clear water um i've used it during uh you know some foggy looking water um, but never never milky water uh just because it does disappear all right. Um, then, of course, you know, I've got Texas Reef set up, so I'm sure you guys know, um, you know, how that works. Um, yeah. So that, that's that's basically, you know, this one right here. Now, this, I, I get crap for this all the time. Um, it's just because, it, you know, I, I do plan on, you know, going uh, up north. I do want to do, on um, like, pike. Uh some musky fishing, you know, something like that. So I always catch, uh, um, you know, I always get crap for these because when I, when I pull out my, my lures, you know, to go and exchange, uh, change them out, um, they're like, Oh man, you know, what are you doing? So this is absolutely huge. It is around six inches, um, six inches or more. Um, it's got three trouble hooks. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it is a jerk bait. Um, but I haven't caught anything on this yet. Uh, only because I haven't used it. Um, because I do know that, you know, w once I go up north, I, I do plan on having a Michigan trip coming up. So we'll look for that video. Um, I also have another one, um, another, uh, yeah, another one. Yeah. So then I've got, you know, some little small, um, little top water jerk bait. Um, it's, this actually does work, believe it or not. Um, I throw this like early fall. Um, and they do tend to bite at it. Um, the treble hooks are really, really small, um, but I've actually caught uh, about a pound and a half uh, bass off of this. Um, I think it was a, um, it was a large mouth that, that I caught up on this thing. Okay, so here we got some top water. Um, 
just different top waters that I that I've been collecting um, over the past like two or three years. Uh, so I've got this old school frog right here. Um, it's it it actually does work pretty well for me. Um, I've caught a few bass off of here. The only issue that I could say with this is that um, it does collect a lot of water. Um, so I'll be out there, you know, trying to trying to move this thing on the top water and it just fills with water. So by the time I get it, it's like really heavy. I always got to, you know, squirt out the water. Um, so there's that one. Uh, here, here goes a popper. Um, this one here is actually, it's, it's a little older. I've got a, a little bit of rust on it. Um, it's not bad. Um, I've caught, uh, I've caught a couple bass off of this one here. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's called a hula popper. Um, again, you know, names and stuff like that. I'm not hundred percent, but it's, it's not, it's not bad. It, I think it was bought for me for like my birthday or something. Um, here goes another top water. Um, this one here is actually uh, a really good top water. Uh, I do recommend this one. Um, I'm not sure the kind, uh, again, I got this for my birth for my birthday and it's just been in there. Um, I've caught multiple bass off of this, um, throwing it early morning, um, in the fall and it has, it's definitely worked. Um, it's got a little bit of rattle to it. Um, and it, it really works for me. Um, do, 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 do this, this little booger here. I actually bought this and tried this out. Uh, I, I can't remember who makes this. Um, I, I can't for the life of me just remember who it was. I've used this thing. It's, it's horrible. Like I, I, if it, it, it's just absolutely horrible. I just don't even want it anymore. Well, I've got actually, um, I don't know what the hell I was going to say. So, uh, just a couple of, um, little, you know, baits that I use for when I do go Texas rig, or if I want to add motion to my jig, stuff like that. Um, I've got a pumpkin sartreuse, um, worm. It's actually, um, these are really, really good. Uh, I, I use them. Um, yeah, it, this is, again, this is just personal stuff of what I use. You don't have to use it. Um, you're probably going, damn, this guy, I don't know what he's talking about, but hey, this is what I use. Um, and then I've also got some, some blue, um, little, uh, lizards. Uh, these actually really do work well. Um, now I've bought these, um, I don't know what, what I bought them when I bought these, uh, but they're not bad. They're ribbit. They're garlic scented. Um, they're called hot feet. They're like little frogs. Um, I, I've, I've used these for, um, I've, I've just swam them across the top. I've used these for uh, Texas rig setup. Um, it, it does create motion, you know, just like this. So whenever you need it, use it. Uh, I, I'll be making a video probably using this um, just to get a little bit more in detail. I don't know if anybody else have, has used this or not, but I have. And then I've got some, um, some I've, I've got some swim bait and some flukes. Um, I actually like using a fluke. Um, I, I really do. Uh, I, I've caught some pretty decent fish off of it. Um, decent, decent size fish off of these. Um, so yeah, and a lot of these that I use are Zoom. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody at all, none whatsoever. So it, you know, it, this is just personal, you know, speaking personally uh, to you guys, you know, uh, who, who like to watch my channel. Um, of course, I am new to YouTube. Um, I don't really, really know. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is new to me. Uh, but if I can help somebody out, I want to, and and I will. You know, I've, I've been fishing for 32 years since I was five years old. Um, I'm 37 now, and I just feel that why not give a little bit of information that I've had over the past 30 years, 30 plus years. Um, and at least you know help you guys out um would very much appreciate if you guys you know liked my like my videos maybe subscribe to my channel um, i do have some new things coming up um i there's like i mentioned this earlier there's a michigan trip that's going to be coming up um i want to say it'll be sometime next month i'm not 110 percent sure uh, i've got to go up there and and, uh, and help a buddy of mine out um so that will be fun uh, i am going to do some fishing um up there or hit some bass up on the rocks uh you know and try to 
try to you know get some get some content, get some good content for you guys um, and stuff like that. Now, let's get into you know how how I how I wanted to start this channel um, or why oh, how um, why I wanted to start this channel. Basically, um, I'm medically retired, so out of the army. Um, I was injured overseas, and there's not a lot of stuff that you can do when you're injured. Um, however, um, fishing is one of them, luckily, uh, that, that I can do. And to me, fishing is just, it calms me, uh, it helps me out, and it's just all around, you cannot have a bad day of fishing, period. I don't care who you are, you're, you, when you get out there and you start fishing, you know, even if you don't catch anything, it's still a good day. It's still a good day to fish. I would encourage each and everybody just to get out there and start fishing. Take your loved ones fishing, uh, you know, your kids. I've actually taken my kids fishing. Uh, some of them did like it, some of them didn't like it, but that's okay. Um, you know, they're, they're on their own path. Uh, as you can see from my previous video, uh, I did drop off my oldest son at college. So back to what I was saying was basically, fishing helps me. Um, and I just wanted to bring that to you guys. Uh, you know, being prior military, it it's just something that can help other veterans as well um because there's really no stress involved like i mean you're, you're out there you're just having a good time you're, you're on the water nine times out of ten you can find a decent spot by yourself so you're not having to you know deal with a bunch of people um i know a lot of people a lot of veterans do suffer from that like myself um and if you're a veteran, please subscribe. Um, leave me a couple comments, you know, down there. Um, if you're, or if you live in my area, um, I am in Tennessee, um, around Fort Campbell area. You know, if, if you're around here and you want to, you know, go fishing with me, dude, hit me up on this channel. Um, you can also like me on uh, Instagram. It's Sean dot underscore dot Bassin. Um, you know, hit me up there, follow me on there, uh, send me a message, whatever. Dude, we can go and, and, and knock it out. So long, you know, just make sure you have all your licenses, of course. Again, I don't own a boat, so I do a lot of bank fishing, a lot of creek fishing. My cameras will be in, uh, they say Saturday. I don't know. I had to order them. Um, so they'll be in here, and then I can get y'all some really nice video other than using my phone and my little handheld camera, which is actually holding up my phone right now. Um, I'd say that's about it, right? I don't know. All right, so I have been, I have been watching a lot of John B. Um, videos. He, he's a really good kid. Um, I follow him, um, and I, I, I really like his videos. He's kind of inspired me a little bit. I mean, yeah, he's a youngin, you know, like 22 years old, um, but he has inspired me to, you know, start a YouTube channel um, and get out there you know be seen however um i do know rob from uh, lunkers tv uh not personally um but i do know that he is a veteran you know he helps out gets you know gets people um you know out there um and i've got a lot of respect for these guys uh ap bassin i haven't watched a whole lot of his uh, what's his name Peric or something like that i really haven't watched a whole lot of his stuff um but of course you know you know again i'm i'm not friends with these guys i'm just telling you my story my personal stuff um so don't be like oh well you're just naming off you know youtube channel so you can get whatever that's that's not how this is um i'm just giving you guys a little personal stuff uh on what inspired me to actually do this um all right guys i appreciate it and i will be um i'll be talking to you guys later all right